I, I don't know if you've seen this gap. You probably can't read it. No, but I've seen it. I, you, so you know what it is. Yeah. You can read it to them, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. So for people, I figured you'd seen it. Um, so for people in the chat, I was going to make a video on this um, maybe tomorrow or next week or something. But what you see here, what, what you really need to know is look at the red line and the blue line. The red line is women and the blue line is men. And uh, the upwards inflection is towards liberal and the downward con is towards conservative. And what you see in every single country, except for the UK, I guess they're uniform, but the gap is still real, is a massive uh, divergence, in particular in the United States and a place like South Korea, where women are massively, as they get older, they're getting more liberal. Um, wait, I'm sorry, as time passes, not as they get older. As time passes from 2015 to 2020, in just five years, women have completely diverged from conservatism. In the United States, it is a, since 2010, it is almost a hockey stick of uh, women leaning towards uh, liberal and men much, much more slightly leaning towards conservative. And men generally lean towards conservative anyway. By the way, based South Korea, holy crap, the men are like hyper conservative there. Yep. What this is going to, this is another whole nother problem that's going to happen in the next, I mean, now, right now, like I right. couldn't date some weirdo, I could date a Democrat. I could and be fine with it. I could even date a liberal, but I can't date whatever the hell this is. Right. Where it's like, you know, uh, where, where you're like an extreme leftist. I don't have like, no, that's like, that's a non-starter completely. Yep. What well, I think what's happening, um, the men really haven't changed much, except like you say in South Korea, the men haven't changed too much. But what's happened is that women have been told that deleting, deleting babies is yeah. health care. It is health care. Yeah, yeah, right. And, you know, making sure that the LG HD TV community, mm -hmm. um, that is, you know, making sure that they exist. Well, of course they exist, but, you know, and they've come up with all these things that hit women in the fields. And I say this and I, I do get some pushback, but I'm, I'm not talking about, I'm only talking about emotions and that women oftentimes are like children. They're very reactionary. They're very angry. They're very passionate. They think with their hearts and not their heads. And if you look at, you know, the only reason I'm bringing up the current protests is because if you look at these videos, the ones on the left, the loudest and the ones that are in front and making the signs and doing most of the work are the women because oh, they're the most passionate about it. When you look at the, the other side, uh, and I'm not saying I support, like, I don't care. I, I'm right. It's not my, not my, not my circus, not my monkeys. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the other side, the, the guys that were holding up the American flag or the guys that are marching around, pushing back, those are men. So the men are saying God, country, pride, whatever, you know, normal, stop being weird. And the women are the ones that are leading the charge. And most of the men that are following those women, because they're following them, if you listen to them, are very effeminate men. Yeah. So really, if you're looking at what's going on on the ca college campuses, it's almost like stoic men versus really angry women. And mm -hmm. the same thing goes for the, the various marches and the very, you know, all this stuff. So I think, I think what's ultimately going to happen is that there's going to be a point where the women are going to get their way right up until everything collapses. And we got to be close to that. We, we no, we have to. I you wish don't we so? were, brother. Oh, I man. wish we were. It, it's, I wish we were closer to the collapse. Um, but it's going to have to get so bad that either the women turn to the men and say, okay, like I got, I'm out of ideas. Like you guys got to step in here. Or the women just keep going until we finally bounce into Marxism, socialism. And if you think that's crazy, look at the judge that just let all these UCLA protesters that yeah. got arrested. There, she's like, go ahead. And by the way, here's breakfast. Gave yeah. them br a box of food and said, we're just going to give you a little citation. Have a good day. And they went right back. People do not understand how, how bad this really can get. Yeah, I think, I think uh well, I mess. think yeah, it is sorry. Yeah, it's it's definitely bad. I do think that you're going to have 
it's going to get bad when men continue to go their own way and women lose out to AI and banana washing machines. Like, <laughs> yeah. where, it has to get to a point where women are like, well, I can't find anybody because men are all. They, they, they will find these leftist guys that are happy to be the provider. Dude, have you seen have you seen some of the posts where the the husband is like, "Oh, my wife's bull is coming over." Yeah. And yeah. okay, that is the dream for these some of these women. Um I think there's just going to be the strong independent men are just going to go, "You know what? You break California, you break New York, you break all your but we're going to congregate in Tennessee and in Texas and in Florida and and you break your crap." And then when it yeah. all goes south and you try to move in with us, that's when we're going to have a problem. I don't know how this all gets ironed out. I'm not that guy. I, I don't look at this stuff that much. But I can say that the ones that are the happiest and doing really well are the people that are still following the main principles of what this country was founded on. And the ones that are always angry and always screaming and always upset, they're the ones that are hockey sticking off to the left. They're yeah. unhappy, miserable, protesting, tear the system down, capitalism bad, everything sucks. They're the unhappy ones. They yeah. will go mental or self-delete before they change too much, though. Yeah, I think that they may have drank just too much of the Kool-Aid at this point. Um, but I do think there's going to be, I, I think that there's going to be a golden era of where you're going to have as a percentage, what we don't know here is as a percentage, wait, political ideology, 18, by the way, it's 18 to 29s. Yep. They're kids. Um, where these women, I bet you once I hit 30, they're going to start coming back this way. Like, well, they have to. They have to, right. You can't just keep going forever off into space um, where you're talking about like pedos are normalized. You, you can't right. like, you're going to have a really small percentage of people that continue to do this they're going to start breaking off. Then what's going to happen is those women's those women's friends and kids are going to see how unhappy their moms are and they're going to they're going to break off. More. Well, Chad, uh, I think generation Z is more it's one of the first generations say. that's more conservative than the previous and uh there's a lot of videos on Twitter today of like students holding American flags and going f you and take a shower and screaming at these leftoids. And these are all young men that you can see will not put up with crap. So I think the left is, again, going kind of nuts. And the, the opposition is actually getting – those are the young, strong men that are going to say, I'm not putting up with your BS. And so there's at least a good balance in the next generation. I do think – I talked about this yesterday, and not that we – you know, the politics, hard politics isn't something I really do. But I can talk about who's president and what becomes popular – during their presidency with some level of knowledge. When, when Trump won in 2016, it became cool to like your country again. And what you're seeing now too, is another point where it's like, there's that kid, unfortunately, some freaking dude next to him is making ape noises at a woman. I'm like, uh, oh. I, I know, I know. I'm like, dude, <laughs> um, it could have been such a great clip. And I was like, well, you did a racism. Like, yep. you, I can't defend it. <laughs> like, it's bad. Yeah. You know? um, but like everybody else in that video is like wearing American flag bibs, singing the national anthem at these like few commie LARPers. And I'm like, this is what I want to see. Now just yeah. please go vote in November. Right. <laughs> please remember right. to vote. Um, I, I do think that there is some pushback because these women are going to be lonely. I know that there's a, a seemingly endless supply of soy infused um, beta males, but there actually isn't. There, there, like, there are far, like you said, at these rallies, it's probably 80 20 female to men. Right. And that means that even if they all matched up, that, you know, the overwhelming majority of those women are going to be single and, um, and that they're going to ruin their bodies. <laughs> during this next few years, then they're going to be 28, 29. All their friends are going to get married. All their friends' friends are going to get married. And they're going to be sitting there wondering where it all went wrong. And I, I, I hope you're right. But if yeah. you look at these women, they do not want families. They're, they're, you they know, say baby, that now. 
Yeah, they, they do say that now, but a lot of them have their careers. They ride the careers and, and a lot of them are freezing eggs and all this other stuff. Yeah, that's true. Um, I, I think they'll be, I think what they want is I want to be strong, empowered female. I want to have the beta provider at home and I want to go sleep with the hot guys when I want to. And they will be able to accomplish all of that without any change. They can still be the, the, the boss be at work. They'll have the provider guy that lets them have their bull on the weekends and they will find a conservative, good looking guy that'll tell her to shut up and, and lay down and do this and do yeah. that. And, and the then railer twice a month. Yeah, that's right. He'll, he'll, <laughs> he'll pop his baby juice and then he's hitting the, the bricks and, yeah. and, and again, he's winning, they're losing, but they think they're winning because you're, they get, I'm telling you're probably you, probably right. You're probably right. But I refuse to accept <laughs> our fate. <laughs> <laughs>